Let's break down the numbers. In 2017, minimum wage was increased to $10 an hour. Now in 2018, workers will get another pay increase to $10.50 per hour. Rocco's Little Chicago Pizzeria is just one of the many places where some people got a raise. The owner, Rocco de Grazia, didn't support Prop 206, but he still wanted to make sure he took care of his employees. Heading into 2017, he didn't want to lay anyone off, so he anticipated he'd have to raise his prices and watch his scheduling. I'm going to look very carefully at overtime. Uh, that simply isn't going to happen. On both fronts, he was right. While OT was inevitable at times, DeGrazia says it only happens when absolutely necessary. I'm a little more uh, more strict. It, it, it's not like a, a normally scheduled thing any longer, that's for sure. Now he feels he has to put more of an emphasis on the restaurant bar than he'd like to, but says it'll help out with the wage increase. Overall, though, his profits this year were about the same. It was okay, yeah. It wasn't bad. The, uh, but the alcohol sales definitely helped. Jennifer Newman owns the ice cream shop Cashew Cow. Yeah. Heading into 2017, she wasn't worried about the wage increase. It didn't affect how she paid her employees. As for this year's raise? It didn't make any difference at all in terms of my paying them. Minimum wage will increase to 12 bucks an hour by 2020. Newman says while it may be tough to adjust to, ultimately, it's necessary. As the cost of living increases, like something has to be done with paying people so that they can survive. Next year, the minimum wage goes up to $11 an hour. Max Darrow, KGUN 9, on your side.